Motorcycle Live 2018 was sat on the TT stand with two of the young stars from 2018, Adam McLean and Derek McGee. Now, Derek, it's been a funny old year for you, a bit of a roller coaster, you know, some highs and lows, uh, some painful lows, that is a fact, but you ended the year off very well. Yeah, it's definitely been an up and down year. Um, obviously, the, the highs were getting a second and the lightweight TT this year, and the lows then were. At Dulce Grand Prix, unfortunately, in practice, uh, I got caught up in another uh, guy's crash and had a big off and was lucky enough to get away with a few broken bones. So um, it was a bit of a fight to get out for the last round of the championship as we were leading the Super Sport Championship. All we needed was a top 10 finish. So we just struggled to get out in four weeks time. So we managed to get out and uh, get a win and win the championship. So injury-wise at the Ulster, obviously it wasn't your fault. You know, it's just one of those things, unfortunately. Somebody else had gone down in a, a bit of debris there and, and caught you out. But... Uh, what were the injuries in that crash? Yeah, so I basically fractured my uh, pelvis, broke my femur, I had four broken ribs, broken collarbone, and a collapsed lung as well. So it took a bit and of getting you, over. And you was out four weeks later to, to win a championship? Four weeks later, yeah, it was tough. I'd done a lot in the hyperbaric chamber, and I'd say only for that I wouldn't have made it out. But even on the bike, I was okay to ride, but I was nowhere near comfortable. But we just got out and got the job done and finished the race off. Fair play, bit of true gear. Adam, you know, um, a good year. McAdoo Racing, you know, a great team uh, with a massive amount of experience. And uh, I spoke to you earlier, and you, you're very, very happy there in, in that environment with the team and the guys. You've had pre a pretty good season. Maybe not the best Northwest, but since then, a good season running through. Yeah, it's it's been my best season to date. Each year, we keep improving and uh, really enjoyed working with McAdoo Racing this year. The wealth of experience the, the team has have been in the in the game 35 years so uh, for somebody relatively new um, I lo lo learnt loads and, and really enjoyed my experience and, and worked well with the team. You know you've had two years now at the TT you know you've done your apprenticeship to a certain degree you never I don't think you're ever at one with that place because it changes all the time uh, you know as you're well aware but um, I suppose realistically you know um, the question I'm going to ask you when are you going to lift that big trophy behind you? <laughs> It'll be a long time yet, I would say. We'll keep chipping away. No, seriously, you know, uh, you've got pace. You've proved that on some of the other internationals, you know, and you've had some great results. But um, it is a steep learning curve. I believe you're going to be staying with the same team for next year. Yep, staying with McAdoo Racing once again. Uh, it was a fairly easy decision for me. Um, more than happy to work with the team again next year. And I'm really looking forward to getting going. Um, the team are excited, so, yeah. You know, we're seeing more and more now, you know, and I've been chatting with some of the other riders, your Lee Johnsons and, of course, Dean Harrison. A lot of those are concentrating a lot more on the British Championship to get uh, to get up to speed, shall we say, a little bit earlier, especially for the for the first of the, of the major road races. Um, the, yeah, that's a very similar situation to myself. Um, you know, the trend is nowadays that you have to be sharp because um, there is so many British Championship lads riding in the internationals so um, you're going to get left behind unless, you do, unless you're riding British Championship so um, we're going to schedule in uh, select British Championship rounds in the Stock 1000 class um, before the international roads just again to, to get sharpened up Now Derek you know, you you you're a hard man to nail down, really, as far as uh, riding different machines, because it's not particularly one team. You ride for various different teams on different uh, makes and and different size motorcycles. Is that the way you like it, or is that just the easiest way to organise your your road racing? Yeah, I think for me it's just the easiest at the minute. Um, whereas before I used to run three of my own bikes, so there was so much maintenance and prep, and I was obviously sacrificing my training then with that. So. We've been to four different teams, the four good machines. Uh, each lad looks after the machine, so when I come to the weekend, they're ready to go, so I can just concentrate on my training. And um, just as basically a big group of friends, we all get on really well. And um, I think this year it's really brought me on a wee bit. I'm just more comfortable and relaxed and enjoying it more. You know, you had a great TT, really, you know, chipping away on various different things, but obviously uh, a great result on the, on the Twins, and you must be happy with that, but, but also... Uh, desperate to go one step higher. Yeah, definitely though. Um, it was brilliant. Like after missing it in 16 and to come back this year, I didn't really expect to be fighting on the podium for the Super Twin, but just things worked out. Practice went well, and Ryan put a good machine under. So really looking forward to next year. And regards to Ryan, he's made a 
another good step with the bike even since the TT so I'm really excited to see what it's like there now and with myself if I can pull a bit more over myself with knowledge and stuff and hopefully we can fight for the podium again. I think you know realistically you two are part of, the, uh, are part of that younger breed that are coming through and, and poking your head above the uh, the parapet and hopefully we'll see you going from strength to strength and like I said lifting that big trophy behind you before too long. The very best of luck for 2019. All right thanks very much. Thank you very much.